The secret to youth may lie not in a fountain, but in a frying pan loaded with spices. Who better to tell us about this new study than Dean Reynolds, a man for all seasonings? At Chicago's Frontera Grill, co-owner and chef Rick Bayless has always believed in spicing it up. I eat a lot of spicy food because it makes me feel good. Now this new dietary study has noticed people who ate spicy food one to two times a week had a 10% lower risk of death from heart disease, cancer or diabetes than those who ate spicy food less than once a week. Experts say capsaicin, the main ingredient in chili peppers, has been shown to reduce the kind of inflammation that can lead to the development of some diseases. The plentiful pepper is already a phenomenon online. Back at his 28-year-old restaurant, Bayless says his peppers are potent and popular. When we first started, people would say, which the spiciest dish on the menu? Because they wanted to avoid it. Now they say, what's the spiciest dish on the menu? Because that's our biggest seller. Put peppers before a patron and the attraction is powerful. As a correspondent, it's important to know whether this will render me speechless. Bite into it like it's an apple. But, but it was actually a habanero pepper. Something, it's taking effect. It, it, um, have some water. The study says clinical trials will be needed to draw a clear link between peppers and health. But the connection between peppers and heat is firmly established. So what do you think? What, what are you experiencing now? My whole uh, mouth is on fire. Uh -huh. But I may live longer. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Chicago.